Thank you very much. Well, Chief, we're all set. But are the Clampets all set? We's all set, Mr. Drysdale. We're leaving? No, we're staying. <laughs> Jethro said he's going to hold a sea ants to get rid of the ghost for Granny. Oh, but Mr. Clampett, really? You don't think you can get in touch with the ghost? Oh, but Jethro's right at home in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you he'll contact the ghost. Right, Lady Hat? I mean, is that the way? Well, you ain't scared of ghosts, Miss Jane. Oh, no, no, just certain flesh and blood types. <laughs> good, good. Well, I'll see you at the sea ants. You can bet on that. Oh, and Mr. Clampett. Why don't you let all the servants have the night off? You know ghosts, they hate crowds. It might help Jethro. Yeah, that's mighty thoughtful of you, Mr. Drysdale. Did you hear that? Now hear this. I will have no part of this dastardly scheme to frighten Granny. I will not be the ghost. You'll be this ghost or you'll be a real ghost. It's a long drop from that battlement. You wouldn't. Never mind the flattery. You have some shopping to do in town. Lady Clementine. <laughs> oh, Santa boy? Well, yes, sir, Uncle Jed. As soon as Granny finishes primping. Well, Jethro, are you wearing my damsel in distress hat? It's my wizard hat now. Oh, Merlin used to wear one like this when he was conjuring. What you wearing, Granny? Yeah. Ain't no ghost mistaken me for no 400-year-old grandmother. <laughs> oh, Granny, you're wearing my mini outfit. If you had rompers, I'd have worn them. Oh, Granny. Hey, where's Mr. Drysdale and Miss Jane? Mr. Drysdale says this ought to be strictly family. They's going to bed. They's gone under the bed. <laughs> Granny's hiding out in a miniskirt. I'll scare her right out of it. Steve, it is not going to work. It can't miss. I've got a mic and speaker hidden in there. We can hear everything they say. And when I press this button, they can hear everything the ghosts have to say. I am not uttering one word into that microphone. You don't have to. I've got a better angle. Now go get ready. Can I talk to the ghost, Pa? I wouldn't count on it, Ellie. You ready, Granny? Of course I'm ready. Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter? It didn't count. What a wizard has got to put up with. One, two, three, go. You didn't say me, I. Hey, let the boy get on with it. This is spooky. What do you do now? First, I got to let him know I'm here. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Look out, ghost. Here I come. <laughs> Jethro, you're going to conjure up a giant. Ellie, go on, boy. Now it has to turn on my giant brain and put in my long-distance call. <laughs> call in Lady Clementine. Call in Lady Clementine. <laughs> Hello. It's a man. You booby, you got the wrong number. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, is, uh, Lady Clementine there? No, she's on her way to the Clampett Castle. Is that a message? Yeah. Would you mind telling her that she's dead? Dead? <laughs> I'm the one who's dead. Who are you? I'm her husband, Sir Roger. Jed? He stirred up a whole nest of them. And who might you be? Me? Oh, I'm just a friend of the family. You yellow belly. Now, the lady I hear, who is she? Now, that's Granny. That's Granny. Oh, the grandmother. You blabbermouth, I'm going to kill you. And she will. Struck me down in my prime. Twenty-seven times on my wedding night. But I ain't the one. My wife will decide that. She'll be there any moment. Hurry up, stop wait. I'm telling you, I ain't the one. Do you still carry that knife? I got something better than a knife, Buster. Granny, mister, I wouldn't say no more. My wife will do my talking. And this will do mine. <laughs> What happened? 
Hey, hey. What exploded? A granny. She has a gun? A cannon. Uh, does it? Oh, hello. Come in, Sir Roger. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Sir Jethro D. Bodine calling Sir Roger. Come in, Sir Roger. Yeah, come on in. I'll give you another help on a rock song and take it right. How could you have even put that thing down? Lady Clementine will be coming through that door in a second, man. Excuse me, Sir Roger. Ladies first. Hey, you can't shoot Lady Clementine. She's kinfolk. I'll hit her off. <laughs> Lady Clementine! Hey, Lady Clementine! Ready? Give me the gun. <laughs> That's perfect. Here, help me into this thing, chicken. <laughs> Granny has a gun. Mr. Clampett has the gun. Where are you going? I'm off to see the wizard. <laughs> hey, Lady Clementine. Lady Clementine. Sir Jethro D. Bodine called. I got a surprise for you. Your husband's been murdered again. <laughs> when you hear a scream, don't be alarmed. It'll be Jethro. But, Chief, you shh, shh, shh. Start packing. <laughs> now, Granny, I've gone along with you and Jethro on this ghost business, but this has gone too far. Now, will you please give me the gun? Look! <laughs> it's Lady Clementine! She got to my baby! <laughs> Oh! <laughs>